Jay Simmons here for Flag Family Media. I'm joined by Olivia Skibble, one of the forwards for MSUM Women's Dragons Basketball. Uh, Olivia, it's been an interesting start to the season, to say the least. You guys went out and uh, really kind of challenged yourself with some of that, those non-conference games. What do you think, when you look at this team so far at the, at the, at the break, at the halfway point, uh, what did you think you learned about your team by having such a difficult non-conference schedule this year? Um, I think we learned that we can play together better and just kind of working through that. Um, I think it, we played some really good teams, so I think that'll help us in the long run, mm -hmm. just towards the end of the season, knowing that we've competed with those high-level teams. Um, it's good for the younger, younger guys, underclassmen, to get that experience, too, mm -hmm. just getting those games under their belt, um, just kind of feeling out what Coach Nelson wants us to do. Um, yeah, just kind of working together. When you look at the uh, conference season so far, you started off three and three so far. There's a couple games that you know you kind of would like to have back. Maybe you know you you had a great comeback against Mary. I think that was a real yeah. kind of a spark to kind of get this uh, conference season going on the right track. Even though that didn't come out the way you wanted to, uh, you had a close game at Crookston. But overall, it looks like this. It looks like a different team from that non-conference schedule. It really looks like you guys are finding your way. Everybody's kind of buying into their roles, and you're kind of growing. So, has there been a turning point since you've kind of started this uh, conference schedule? Yeah, I agree with you that that Mary game was definitely mm -hmm. the turning point. Um, I think, uh, yeah, basically the turning point. Um, Coach Nelson always tells us getting 1% better. Like mm -hmm. every day getting a little bit better, um, continuing to just work on the little things. And the outside people may not see it, but everybody in our circle knows that we're yep. getting better and we're continuing to work together. Um, and each day at practice, we're just competing hard. So I think that'll start to translate over in the games. Oh, absolutely. Now, when you, you look at yourself, obviously you're a graduate student here at MSUM. You came over, uh, played some uh, seasons with uh, NDSU. You're here now. Uh, we were talking before we started getting uh, this interview going. You, you've got your plan set up for after graduate school, physical therapy schools on the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, so number one, I asked you before, and you've already answered this before we started, but uh, you do want to graduate and finish going to college at some point, right? That would be wonderful. Okay, yes. you want to just try to keep in as many <laughs> yes. degrees as possible. So when you look at yourself from one of the, the older players on the team now, um, have you really kind of bought into a leadership role in this team? Because obviously this is a very young team outside mm -hmm. of yourself. Um, I mean, you've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores that are getting a lot of playing time. So what's it like kind of trying to be not only a teammate, but a mentor to some of these uh, younger players? Yeah, Coach and I kind of talked before the season about me being more of a vocal leader because I'm more of a lead by example mm -hmm. type of guy. So we talk more about being a vocal leader. Um, so that's really been my focus for this year. And I think I've done a pretty good job at just kind of talking them through different situations mm -hmm. or like, if you see this, do this or, um, hey, maybe try this read next time in that same situation. Um, so I think that's where I've grown the most as mm -hmm. a leader. Um, I think I have two really good captains next to me, Jens and Taryn. I think we all yeah. really lead well together. We all complement mm -hmm. each other well. Um, so yeah, that's probably the area that I'm most proud of is just being more of a vocal leader and willing to step up and tell these guys what to do. So is there any chance after physical therapy school you go back and get another degree so you can become a coach? <laughs> No? Maybe. Maybe. I would think about okay. coaching, but well, there you go. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at the second half of the season, obviously, uh, it was a nice victory right before Christmas break up in Minot. That was one of the most dominant victories you guys have had this year. A lot of good things that we took away just from sitting courtside watching you guys play. Um, what's the what's the outlook? What's the plan? What's, what's the focus on the second half of the season other than the getting 1% better every day? Um, I think just staying together. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big thing, staying positive. Yeah, we're going to have our ups and downs. We've seen quite a few downs so far, but I think if we just continue to make that one step every single day, um, I think we'll really come together as a team and really start to to work well together. Well, and I, I, I really like what I've seen from this team moving forward. Yeah. You got a couple games on the road this weekend. You got to go to Augustana. You got to go to Wayne State. Uh, then you come back, you get your next four games at home. You've spent the majority of that first half of the season out on the road. So how nice is it going to be to have probably the majority of your games in the second half of the season at Nemzik? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to be home for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I don't blame you a bit. Being on the road is tough. <laughs> yeah. What's What are the keys to victory this weekend when it comes to trying to play against Augustana and Wayne State? Um, staying disciplined. They want to speed us up. They're going to try and press us, and we know that going into it. So we just got to stay our game. Um, we talk about not uh, taking the fast shot because mm -hmm. they, they want the most possessions as possible, yeah. and that's not how we want to play. So we want to stay disciplined in what we want to do. Um, and it really falls back to our fundamentals mm -hmm. and doing the little things right, and that will be the foundation for us 
to get to build on that. Absolutely. Well, best of luck this weekend. A long, little bit of a long road trip, but you know what? Nice to knock it out of the out of the way now, and then have yes. those uh, games uh, down the stretch here at Nemzik Field House. So, uh, best of luck to you this weekend, Olivia. We'll Thank be you. there, especially on Saturday. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Uh, this has been Jay Stemmen for Flag Family Media. We'll talk to you soon.